Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex with GuitarForce.com. As you can see, today we're going to take a look at Stop Messing Around by Gary Moore. Uh, first of all, I would like to say big thanks to everybody who has supported me and uh, requested these lessons. I really appreciate uh, each and every one of you guys. Um, also, if you would like to support me, uh, you can do so by going to either Patreon or directly through uh, my website. All of the links are going to be in the description box down below. Um, another way to support me is you can purchase the um, tabs for this lesson and others as well. Uh, but for this lesson, uh, the uh, tabs are going to be available at uh, guitarforce.com. Under the video, you will see tabs. Click on it, and that's it. Um, as far as the sound, again, nothing changes. I was using the uh, VST plugin, and again, I will post the picture of the preset I was using. Uh, this song has quite a few parts. Uh, we have three solos and also uh, some leaks during the verses, so we're going to break it down into parts. The tuning is standard, so no need to change anything. Um, while you are checking out the picture of the preset, here is my low E for your tuning reference. Alright, so one more thing to mention before we start the lesson is uh, if you would like to check out the cover playthrough of this song, all of the parts together from start to finish, you can do so by uh, going to my other channel and I'm going to post the links again in the description box down below and on the screen. Uh, if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Without further ado, uh, let's first of all take a listen to the uh, first solo, the intro solo. Then we'll come back close up and start the lesson. Let's check it out. Alright, so before we start breaking down the solo, um, I have to mention that this song, again, is written in swing feel, so now instead of straight eighth notes, we're going to have triplet feel to it. Okay, so keep that in mind. This applies to the whole song, to the whole um, guitar parts. So, um, the first phrase of the intro solo goes like this. Okay, so here we start off uh, by playing on the B string, 8, 11, 8, 11. Uh, now, when we play the 11th fret, we have a slight bend here. So we have... Now, the second time, we have a gradual bend, and we bend up the string, up the whole step. Adding some vibrato, and then catching the high E string at the 8th fret. Like that. Second phrase. Again, kind of similar idea, but we have 11 frets on the B string with slight bend, and then alternating the, um, alternating it with the high E string at the eighth fret. So we play this for three times. Fourth time, we pick the uh, B string at the 11th fret, and then gradual bend up a whole step again, adding some vibrato, and then catching again the high E string at the 8th fret. One more time. Next phrase. Here we go to the G string, 10th fret. We have quick bend up half a step and bring it down, pull off to 8, and then we go to the D string, uh, playing 10th fret two times. Okay, so keep in mind that uh, this whole song is written in um, C, C blues, so we're going to be using the C minor pentatonic. Okay, so the next phrase after this goes like this. Okay, so here uh, we go to the A string, playing 10 to 12, hammer on. 10 on D, then we have two bends, half step on the 12th fret, 
And the first one is uh, staccato, uh, which means it's kind of shorter and it's um, sort of have a pause between uh, these two bands. So two bands on the 12th fret, uh, half step, uh, D string. Then we play 12 on A, back to D10, back to A12. One more time. All right, next phrase. Okay, so here we have a double stop on the B and the G strings, a tenth fret. So we play the bend half a step. We play the double stop, bend it up and bring it down. And then we go for the run, which is on the A10, D7 to 10. So here we are switching to the uh, major uh, pentatonic. Then we play two grace notes on the G string from 8 to 9. After that, playing the double stop at the 10th fret again, uh, the uh, B and the G strings. Another grace note on the G string from 8 to 9. And then we have, which is 10 on D, 10 on A. 8, 7 on A, and back to 10 on D. One more time. Okay, then we go to the next position, and the lick goes like this. So we play 14 on the G, 13 on B, back to 14 on G, and then bend on the B string, 15th fret, bend up a whole step and bring it down at some vibrato. Next part, 14 on G, 13 to 15 on B, back to 14 on G, 13 on B. Sorry, one more time. Add some vibrato uh, for the uh, final note. And then we have 14 on G, going uh, up to the high E string, uh, pulling off from 15 to 13, to B, 16. And then we have hammer on on the B string from 13 to 15. 14 on G, 13 on B. One more time, slowly. And then the last phrase of the solo. So we're getting back to the first position of the uh, C minor pentatonic scale, and we have two bands, first one on the high E string, 11th fret, full step. Then we play 10th uh, fret, again, whole step on the high E. And then we have, which is 8 on high E, 8 on B, 10 on G, back to B string, 8th fret. Okay, so this is the first solo. Um, I'm going to play the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together, goes like this. Okay, so now let's take a listen to the verses, the first one and the second, until the break, and uh, then we'll come back and break it down. All 
right, so during the verses we have a few leaks going on, and uh, we're going to break it down leak by leak. I'm sure you're going to be able to spot where uh, you have to play it, so I'm not going to explain which bar we are playing it. Um, so the first lick goes like this. Okay, so here we start off with the D string, 10th fret, going to high E8, B10, G8, and back to the D string, 10th fret. Next lick, G string, 10th fret, we have a bend up, bring it down, pull off to 8, and then again back to the uh, D string, 10th fret. Next lick, A string, 12th fret, D, 10 to 12, hammer on, back to A, 12, D string, 10, add some vibrato, and then the last note, 12th fret on the A. And then for the turnaround, we have, uh, for the last bar uh, of the uh, blues progression, um, you can have like dead string uh, before uh, hitting the 8th fret of the G string or you can use 10th fret on the D, doesn't make uh, that much difference. So we have eight on G, 10 on D, two times 10 on A string. Okay, so these are the leaks from the first, um, from the first verse. The second verse, again, we have um, three licks, goes like, the first one goes like this. All right, so here, starts off on the high E string, 15th fret, going to 16 on B, and we have a slight bend here. 17 on G to 14, and again back to B string 16 with the slight bend and cut off the note. Like that. Next lick goes like this, kind of similar to the uh, first lick in uh, the uh, verse number one, slightly different though. Start, starts off with eight frets on the B string, going eight to high E, ten on B, eight on G, ten on D. Again, adding some vibrato at the end, and then again for the turnaround, it's going to be. Uh, exactly the same thing. This time the 10th fret is more pronounced of the D string, so you can hear this note. So again, eight, uh, I'm sorry, 10 on D, 8 on G, 10 on D, 2 times 10 on A string. And then we come to the break where we play So here we're just hitting the uh, C7 chord and uh, primarily just um, the first three bars we're kind of hitting this double stop mostly, right? And uh, even sometimes you can just hear like played one note. And then for the uh, triplets in the end of uh, the fourth bar, okay, it's the C7 chord with the triplet feel. Um, I mean, playing three triplets uh, and then uh, one quarter note. Okay, and then we go uh, for the uh, next part, which is um, just have one lick basically, and it goes like this. So here we go to the B string, eight to ten, eight on high E to eleven. And right after that, we go to the uh, first solo uh, of the song, and it goes like this. So the first phrase of the first solo goes like this. Okay, so it's um, almost exactly the same as in the beginning, uh, slightly longer. 
starts off with uh, 8 frets on uh, B string, going to 11 again with slight bend, and then we're going to be alternating it with the high E8, 8 fret, and we do it for 3 times. And then in the end, the fourth time again, we play the note, bend up, at some vibrato, and then catch the high E string at the 8th fret again. Like that. Then the next phrase... Okay, so here we pick the um, B string at the 11th fret, and then we have kind of pre-bend and release two times and then we have a uh, standard bend uh, from the 11th fret and again while it's bent up add some vibrato and then catch the high E string at the 8th fret then we have which is kind of gradual bend on the G string 10th fret and uh, when we get to the um, uh, when we bend the string up, we then catch the uh, high E at the 8th fret again. And then we have... So it's again um, bend and release on the 10th fret of the G string. Pull off to 8, and then we play 2 times 10 frets on the D string. The next phrase... Here we go to the high E string starting with the 8th fret, playing 11 with slide bend, then we play 10 fret with slide bend, 10 on B, 8 on high E, back to B string 10 fret, and slide out. One more time. Alright, so this is the phrase. Then we have Okay, so we go up to the 15th fret of the high E, bend it up full step, bring it down, add some vibrato, have a little rest, and then we have 13th fret on the B string, kind of palm muted, we play two 16th notes, and then we play two bends on the 15th fret of the B string, kind of gradual. Then the next uh, lick goes like this. So we have on the high E string, 15 to 13, pull off, 16 on B to 13, and then 14, slide out. Then after that, one more time. All right, so here, 14 on G, 13 on B, back to 14 on G. Then we have a long bend um, on the 16th fret of the B string, full step. Then we play 16, 13, all of this on the B string, uh, quickly to 14th fret on the G, back to 13 on the B string. One more time. One more time. And then we have... 10 on B, going up to the high E string, 8 to 10 hammer on, back to 10 on B, and then 8 on high E again. Okay, and then uh, the last uh, phrase of the uh, solo goes like this. Okay, so here on the G string, 8 to 9, 8 on B, 8 on high E. Pull off eight, 11 to 8 on B string, 10 on G, 8 on B to 8 on G, 2 times 10 on A string. Okay, so here's the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together.
right, so after the first solo we go back to the break and it's exactly the same as we did uh, earlier, just hitting the chords and actually on the last fourth bar um, Gary doesn't pick uh, the, uh, the chord but you can do it if you want to. Um, and after that we go into the next verse and uh, he practically doesn't play anything with the exception of just two notes um, during the verse and uh, the notes are you know, just uh, hitting the 10th fret on the A and 10 on D, and that's all. Like that. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. We'll continue in part 2 the rest of the lesson. Uh, the links are going to be again in the description box down below and also on the screen. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, this lesson, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, till next time, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you. Yeah.